everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Moira, and today will be the third part of my mini series here on YouTube called Moira's Room Makeover. If you haven't watched the first two videos, I will be linking them down below. For today's video, it's going to be a makeover within the room makeover. So if you can tell already from the background, <laughs> it's going to be my closet makeover. Finally, I have found a closet. It's just what I wanted. It has large mirrors, it's sliding, and it's white. So basically, in this video, I will be organizing my new closet. I love, I love to organize. I've been watching organization TV shows ever since literally when I was a little girl and I really want to become like a professional organizer someday. That's a real thing guys. Oh and by the way if you're interested I got this wardrobe at Urban Concepts. It was on the pricier side, I'm not gonna lie, but I really feel that it's going to be a good investment. So anyways, enough with this rambling and let's get right into the video. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the top shelf since it's so high for my height. You want to put things that you won't always be reaching for. And what's good about this closet, I mean, it's so big, it's 47 inches wide. It's not only to store my clothes, it's also to store my storage. <laughs> for the top shelf, I decided to put my board games because I have a lot of them. I used to display them, but they don't really go well with the new color palette. So I'm just going to keep them here and I'll be putting them on the top. Yay! The next space that we are going to fill is this one. As you can see, it's probably like the longest side of the wardrobe since this is where I will be hanging my clothes. But I still think that it can be used for additional storage, especially the back part since it won't be utilized. So I decided to put there these! These are actually stuff that I use for scale modeling. I have a lot of kinds of boards like uh, illustration board, Bristol board, cardboard, and I have my cutting mat over here. And I really think that it fits really well, so it's better to put that there so that it also won't be damaged. Now I'm going to hang my clothes, and I think a lot of people say this, that you should have matching hangers. So mine is all black. I don't really know how it got all black because I didn't buy these. They were already here probably even before I was born, so I guess I just took all of the black hangers. It's just an extra tip if you want your closet to look real neat. Next tip is that when you hang your clothes, it's better to arrange them. Some people do it by color, by type, or by length. I like to combine those. So first, I'm going to start with my tops. So this is a black top and this is gonna go all the way over here. And as you can see, I hung that in the opposite direction. Because what's going to happen is if I hang them all like that way, and for example, I wore this and then I put it back up, it's gonna be like this. So by the end of like a few months, you will get to see which items you have not yet worn. So it's easier to decide whether to throw it out or to give it away. As you can see, I started with my tops and then I moved on to my dresses. And another tip if you're trying to save some space is to hang a dress with a cardigan or a jacket so that you will get to save space and at the same time, it's already styled for you. If you're in a hurry and you just want to find something to wear, this is what you wear! I know! Now we're moving on to some jackets and transitioning into formal wear. And as you can see, I also did that trick for my blazer. I hung a dress with it so that I could save some space. Already hung my clothes, so again, I transitioned from like tops, dresses, to jackets, to formal wear. For the bottom part, as you can see, there's still some space left over here, so it's a good way to again store more of your items. So, I bought these containers at Miniso, I think it was Miniso, not Mumuso. They were very inexpensive, they were only 100 pesos per box, and they fit real well, and I love the color. So, I'm going to put three of those here. 
So for the first storage box, I already put in all my socks. And then for the other two, I'm going to be filling them up with my bathing suits. And as you can see, they're all placed in this little Ziploc bags, which you can get at the grocery store. So this is a really good closet hack that I learned, is that you put your swimsuits in this Ziploc bag so that it's not messy. And whenever you're gonna go out for a swim, you can just put this in your bag. And it's so easy, right? It's so genius. Ta -da! Now for the bottom part, it's still so big. So I decided to put there my storage boxes that were laying here inside my room. As you can see, even if I already put storage boxes in here, there's still a lot of space. So I'm going to be putting here my pouches that I don't even need to color coordinate because they're all pink. <laughs> <laughs> Finally done with this side! Okay, so on the other side of my closet, I have one, two, three, four shelves that are still pretty spacious. This is where I'm going to put my folded clothes. The thing is, with these closets, it's very deep. So I think this is like, what, 40 cm. When you put clothes on the back, I think the tendency is that you won't wear what's put on the back since you can't see it. When you're organizing your closet, you should be able to see all the things that you own so that nothing will be left out. So I'm going to store some more items in the back. For the top, I'm going to be placing some of my gift wrappers and a few of again my RK related papers in here since I have a lot of them and I want to store them in a nice place. So hard to reach! Damn girl look at all these plans! And last but not the least my yoga mat. <laughs> Oh. So for the top shelf, I decided to put all my bottoms like my skirts, my shorts, and my pants since I don't really reach for them every single day of my life because sometimes I wear dresses or I'm just at home. So first up are my skirts. You can see I already color coordinated them. When you fold your skirts, you have to fold them in a way that it won't get wrinkled. I'll just leave the link down below of what I searched and that's what I did. For the next shelf, I'm going to be putting all my other tops. So first, I'm grouped together all like my jackets and hoodies and whatnot. And actually, I'm going to put this on the back side of the wardrobe, which is like contradictory <laughs> to what I just said earlier. But just wait and see. Beside it, I'm going to be putting my sweaters, three, four tops. You should never hang your sweaters because it's gonna get those pointy things over here. Okay, these are all my t-shirts and t-shirt dresses. So my kind of dressier shirts. And last but not the least, these are all my muscle tees and crop tops. So I decided to put them on this shelf because for my height, it's what I can see the most. This is what I take the longest time to decide. It's like what to wear to school. So it's good that it's here. And as you can see, I put my hoodies here in the back. If if you really don't have enough space, the best things to put at the back of your wardrobe are like seasonal items. It's better if they're like higher than the ones in front so that you can still see them, right? It's so genius, right? I know! I know! I know! So I have this drawer. I just put all my undergarments in here, so I'm not gonna show that. <laughs> now for this third shelf, what I'm going to be putting at the back are clothes that I don't think I would ever wear again, but I keep them for sentimental reasons. Yeah, sentimental. Also, I'm going to be putting my pamba high clothes over here since even if I like stand, stand. <laughs> Even if I stand, I, I could just gra gra grab grab <laughs> grab what's on top since I'm not really picky when I'm just inside the house, right? So easy, just get it and go. Over here, I'm going to be putting my pajama tops. And now we're finally on to the last shelf for the back. I'm going to be putting other random items that I have, like this doll. Her name is Sabrina. She's wearing my high school uniform, so that's really cute. So I'm gonna keep that. I also have this random rats bag that's, and a random laptop bag. And then for the bottom, I'm just going to be putting my 
pajama bottoms. Some like workout bottoms, like my leggings, jazz pants, whatever. And some extra towels, pillowcases, and whatnot. So again, still very easy to reach for everyday use. But that is it for this video. I hope you learned a new thing or two. I really, really love organizing. I'm just a big fat Monica Geller inside, actually. I know! Anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe. My next room makeover video will be the final steps in styling this room and the room reveal, so I'm very excited for that and I hope that you check it out. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye! If I was you, I'd wanna be me too. I'd wanna be